Thank you, brother! Today I want to show you a way of making easy silver while not even leaving the safety of the yellow zone. Yes, you heard me right. You will do all of this in the yellow zone. I know. I don't, I don't. This might seem a little bit weird because you guys know me. I'm always playing in the black zone. I'm always doing full loot content. That's my fun. The only time I'm in the yellow zone is when I'm going towards the red zone. And a lot of Albion Online YouTubers, including myself, have been encouraging players to go into the black zone. And don't get me wrong, that's a great thing. But that doesn't mean that if you don't want to go into the black zone or if you don't want to go into the red zone, that doesn't mean that you cannot make very good silver. But how much silver are we talking? Well enough to pay for your premium and have some left at the end of the month. What am I talking about? Well I'm talking about Hunter Corrupted Dungeons. As a new player, this is a gold mine. I'm telling you, because not only that you're making a bank, as you will very very soon see, but you're having fun while learning the game. Because let's be real, the biggest part of Albion Online is the PvP, so learning that very early on it will do you very very good. And don't worry, if you're playing in Hunter Corrupted Dungeons, more often than not you will see players that are just like you starting out and trying out a bunch of things in a safe environment. So don't worry about finding meta slaves that just murder you in 3 seconds. I mean that can happen, <laughs> I'm in a corrupted dungeon right now, but more often than not those people stick to stalker or slayer. So don't worry, you should be good to go even as a new player. Now enough rambling, and I feel like I've teased you guys a lot, let me show you how it went and at the end how much we've made. Here we go. Is this guy breaking crystals? Oh come on man, this is Hunter. Maybe he just wanted to show me where he's at. Now the only problem is that I didn't see where he's at. So I have no idea. Oh, he's over there. Perfect. Don't tell me you're running away. Please don't tell me you're running away. What do you use? Nothing really. Oh, what is that? Why would you? All right. A weird build but okay can you try not to get killed by mobs please because i want to get some fight footage off of you just, just try why would he do this why did you go through mobs he's trying to catch me in the boss or something well bad news not managing to I don't know what you're doing. I honestly have no idea what he's doing. I mean, I know he seems like he's winning and stuff, but... Trust me when I say... I'm not worried at all right now. Come on! Is he lagging? I cannot tell if he's lagging or if I'm lagging. I had no idea. Oh, what? <laughs> wow! Thank you, brother. I have no idea what happened, <laughs> but that was a that was a fun fight. Honestly, I don't know about the jacket. I, I would suggest if you're ever watching this, bring assassin jacket. Honestly, come on, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Boom. Not boom. Not boom. But hey, it, it adds up. It definitely adds up. Oh, perfect. What do you have? So you can purge me? That kind of hurts. Alright. It's going great so far. doesn't show like I'm invisible, but check my buffs, I'm invisible right now. Boom! Boom boom! Do you like my boom boom? My boom boom combo? I call it boom boom because it boom booms you! I say stupid stuff when I don't know what to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey! Hey! It is what it is! This is promising. 
this is promising. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. Not bad. Really, really not bad. Pretty happy with that. The last dungeon, done. The final chest, looted. This is how much we've made in about one hour of doing it. Including the silver bags, we have about 450k silver. Brothers, this can very easily pay for your premium. Let's round it out to like 500k, just to make it easier to calculate with it. If you do this every single day for one hour, let's say one hour and 15 minutes, something like that, to make up for the 50k difference, congratulations, you paid for your premium, because the premium right now is about 10 million, and you have 5 million left to do whatever you want with them. And that is only if you do this for one hour. What if you do it for two hours? What if you do it for three hours? The sky is the limit and you decide when to stop with this. As a new player especially, you might be very tempted to feel like this is all you want to do. You want to stay in the safe zone and farm Hunter Corrupted Dungeons. And don't get me wrong, for a while, that's perfect. But you really want to progress. Because check this out, let's say, as you know, Corrupted Dungeons go in three different tiers. Hunter, Stalker, Slayer. Let's say that you want to go in Stalker. And in Stalker, the chest value is exactly the same as in Hunter. It's not, it's much bigger. But let's just say for the sake of comparison. So let's say that this is what I've made from just opening the chests in Stalker Corrupted Dungeons. Well, if you kill the player, you get the player's loot, which might be from another dungeon, let's say, maybe he changed two dungeons, you will get his items and you will get a random drop from the dungeon itself. That is added up to this profit. And look at my build, my build is 200k. If I were to kill myself, let's say, and I, if I were to get my gear, my exact gear, I would add 213k to the total profit making a total profit of around 700k but that's only if you get the gear if somebody kills me right now let's say he gets a total profit of 700k added to this profit and then on top of that you also get the loot from the dungeon from my experience you get about how much i made right now in one kill in stalker corrupt dungeons so just kill one player this is how much you will have at the end in your inventory or around this around this like at some points I made like 1 million silver just killing a player. At some other points I made 60k or something like that. Like it very much depends. But more often than not this is about the average that you would make per one kill in Stalker Corrupted Dungeons. Another thing that you definitely don't want to do is go all in. As a new player you don't want to go straight into Stalker Corrupted Dungeons. Because there you might lose your gear and you might just die and be discouraged and have a bad time overall. But I'm just saying this to put it in perspective. You gotta progress. And if you want to progress in a completely safe way while just having fun and while not losing absolutely everything. Well, I have a video just for that. Check it out over here. That being said, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.